Hi there, I'm Miguel. This is a quick demo for MG Tools 2.5, which is a toolkit that makes Maya Animator's life much, much easier. This video will quickly demonstrate what this tool can do for you and why you need it. First, I should apologize for my horrible English, as it's not my mother language for sure. But I bet you could understand what I said later on because what I'm gonna talk about are just animator data issues. Okay? So here we go. This is MG Tools main UI. The UI is actually pretty tiny, but there are tons of useful features built in that you can imagine. Not all features, but the main features will be explained in this demo. By the way, you must use your password to update to MG Tools 2.5 once after you installed the 2.0 version to find all the features presented in this demo. First, let's talk about the number one penniness for animator. The accidents of Maya scenes. Well, I mean no offense, but these accidents are really happening to animator, such as Maya crash, system crash, power cutoff, and when you try to reopen that scene, you may find it broken. And keyframes gone. Sorry to remind you the miserable marine, but for now on, you may start to laugh at them because MG2 2.5 provides rescue features for dealing with these issues. Here we got a scene without any animation. I saved it before as a layout scene. I will keyframe it really quickly and simply. As I do so, I will explain to you the anim rescue feature. Well, anim rescue, this is a real-time backup solution for Maya animators. It only backups animation keyframe nodes and constraint nodes once you make a change to them. No change or creation made, no backup. And since it works completely background, animator can feel nothing of it, no denaying, no waiting. Now we finish this simple animation. It is time for Maya murder. Reopen that layout scene, don't make any change to the animation, load an anim rescue automatic recovery wizard. Keep clicking this next button and your animation will automatically come back to you. And it does recover the animation to the last edit before accident happened. The second rescue mode, which is MG Autosave. Each option are almost the same as the autosave feature introduced by Maya 2011. The only difference is it has an option named Since Directory Mode. There's one more recovery mode called Connection Recovery Mode. It will connect the while animation nodes, which have no output connections yet, back to their proper attributes. This could be really helpful in some situation. Camp 2D Weaver, which enables you to navigate camera viewport in 2D manner, just like navigating images in Photoshop. With this tool activated, you are free to zoom in and out, pan around, box zoom in and out, rotate to a certain degree. Reset that rotation, and you can reset all the changes made by Cam2D Weaver in one go. By default, this tool will reset all the changed camera before you save a scene, which keeps your camera safe. MG Tools introduced a handy plugin which is writing graph editor UI. If you want to hide some distracting channels from this graph editor channel list, then use channel filter here. And there are other useful features here, such as resetting the selected key values to their default values, aligning the selected key values to the last one, and maybe align to their respective previous and next key values as well, doing the animation curve auto smoothing, etc. And with this vertical slider, a BD pose based on a certain percentage between two keys could be made really quick. If you check on the OS button, it will create extreme pose for you instead. This plugin will be loaded each time you load Grab Editor if you turn on the auto load condition of this plugin. MG Tools provides lots of tools to deal with the animation transferring. To copy animation from one rig to another in single scene, you can use the selection manager to transfer the selection order from one rig to another first. Then use the copy paste animation button to transfer the animation. To transfer animation between different scenes, you can use Copy Paste Pro Tool. It will copy paste the animation between scenes as well as the values. You can use MG Creepbox feature to ensure that the two selections have the same number and the same order. Sometimes you may want to build some animation libraries such as walking cycles. Now you can use animation library tool to export your cycle animation to your own library and reuse them anytime you want. 
There are lots of features in this library too that ensure this reusing works just exactly you would like it to. By the way, you can back up your animation with your scenes for any time and do purpose. To accomplish so, use the backup and restore animation feature. MG Tools provide a small asset manager tool called MGDB Manager. This tool can be really handy in layout workflow. You can't actually change or edit your network asset database, but you can navigate them and quickly use them in your scene. You can reference or import them for multiple times, and the option for these actions just follow the corresponding options you set in Maya. There are tons of slapping features built in MG Tools. The most popular slap feature of them is PO Slap Forward, which is also known as a fit slap. Currently, we have a sliding problem in our foot animation. So we select the foot control and go to the first frame that you want to stick the foot on the ground. Press the foot button and keep pressing this button until you reach the frame that the foot needs to go off the ground. And it is done. You can use this motion slapping tool whenever you want something to stay still in some position, such as sticking a hand on a table. There are lots of other slapping features, such as point slap features, orange slap features, and relative slap features, which keep a certain offset while you're doing a motion slapping. It is kind of like mimicking a parent constraint with an offset using keyframes. Path Tracker it is a tool for displaying the motion path of an animated object. Pick an animated object and load it in. The tool will draw a curve with frame ticks for you. But as you may notice, the camera is in motion as well, so the motion path is moving in this viewport too. To avoid that and see the green path from this camera view, you can link that camera to the track item in UI, and the tool will draw the motion path especially in this camera view instead of perspective view. And it does that pretty fast without playing back through the timeline to make an update. For this single piece of UI, it is able for you to manage all the path tracker issues in your scene, just like managing a display layer in Maya's layer editor. There are lots of features dealing with many kinds of selection in MG Tools. MG Selection Set Tool It is a tool that you can store selection set and use them whenever you want. Comparing to use a mail shelf as a selector, it is much much easier to create and edit a MG selection set. You can add selection, exclude selection, transfer selection, and it is also able to use this selection set as isolate set. If you still get used to shelf selector, you can use this tool to create one and it is also able to convert selection set to shelf selector and vice versa. You may only want to use some tools to help you doing some complex selection. Then you need Selection Manager. It is an editor that enables you to temporarily record current selection in a list and doing the adding, subtracting, comparing, and transferring selection between different rigs. Meanwhile, you can store a selection list with your Maya sim and reuse it whenever you open that scene. Sometimes you may need to search in your scene and select all the objects that meet a certain condition. Then MG type selector will be the right thing you want to use. If to find all the keyframe objects within a rig hierarchy is all you want, then the keyframe probe tool will be preferable. Let's say hi to our new friend MG channel box. It is a channel box specialized for my animator. What makes you need it are not only these extra tiny buttons, but also the 8 marking menus come with it. Press the right mouse button, drag right and release to keyframe certain channels, drag left and release to remove that keyframes, and drag down and release to reset channels to let default values. There are lots of other features in this right quick marking menu, such as transferring values between different scenes. It is also able to manage display layer quickly, such as hide or show all display layers quickly create a proper name layer to hide current selection. On the other hand, you can set current render layer really quick. Get access to MG Tools constraint features. Quickly open some editors. Create and edit attributes. Using all the MG Tools snapping features. Constraint tool, which provides lots of features to deal with every aspect of constraint. On constraint creation aspect, it wraps all the frequently used constraint features, 
give you more manners to make it faster, such as quick constraint apparent hierarchy of the second selection. And there are special constraints built in as well, such as an in constraint, which gives you extra hierarchy to trick animation beside a constraint. Vertex constraint and UV constraint, which constrains your object onto the surface of a model. But all these constraints use default nodes provided by Maya. On constraint managing aspect, it provides you constraint lister tool. You can easily select constraint master via constraint slave and vice versa. You can edit parent constraint offset after you create them. It is also able to export and import constraint offset between different scenes, which kinds of enable you to do the constraint transferring. MG Shelf is a floating shelf collector. It is free to be resized and you can place it anywhere you want. It is easy to put your shelf in MG Shelf UI or reinstall them back to my shelf. You can manage them pretty quick through MG Shelf Manager. MG Tools also provides a mini tool which converts shelf files from higher Maya version to a lower one. After conversion, lower version Maya could be able to use the shelf files from the higher Maya version. MG Tools contains many kind of switch tools. VSwitch Quickly switch your Vport config between two or three customizable configs. It is pretty convenient to use it before doing a playtest. Smooth switch. Quickly switch all the polysmooth node division values. It is useful when you have tons of polysmooth nodes there and you want to switch them in one go. Camera switch. Switch the camera of current report and it's easy to be configured. Attribute switch. Help you switch some attributes without any pop, such as follow body or non attribute and constraint weight attribute. Animators need screen information. MG Tools introduce you a highly configurable HUD tools. You are able to put 7 times HUD in 8 different screen areas. They are frame count, user name, scenes name, camera name, current date, time code, and any string. You may notice that all these HUD types could be customized. The HUD color and font size are also customizable. Meanwhile, it is able to save your config and load them later, which means you can shove your HUD config files throughout your animation team and pipeline. There are also a mini tool called Frame Annotation, which creates a mini frame count annotation object, and you can place it anywhere in your report. MG2 supports two kinds of shortcuts, folder shortcuts and file shortcuts. With folder shortcuts, you are able to access this frequently visited Maya directory really quick, as well as your own custom directory. With file shortcuts, it is able to load any file or program with this button and its right quick menu. With pivot tool, you are able to keyframe an object's pivot position without any popping. The beauty is, even your rig doesn't provide your ability to keyframe the pivot, it is able for an animator to do so in animation phase. Keyframe tool contains much of features to deal with keyframes. With set key tool, you can keyframe at each key or between each certain frames. The timing tool retiming your animation both in an absolute way and a relative way. With BD tool, you can add BD pose as well as extreme pose with a value that is of a certain percentage between the previous and the next key values. Tangent tool manages the key tangent without opening grab editor and it provides many different ways to do that. With scale animation tool, to bring animation from one frame rate to another without changing the speed is easy now. Animation slapping tool helps you bring some tricky non-integer keys to integer keyframes, yet try to maintain the animation as best as it can. There are two sticky tools in MG Tools which are Make it Sticky Tool and Make Sticky View Tool. With Make it Sticky Tool, you can stick some objects to the viewport, such as stick the facial panel to the viewport for animation tweaking purpose. With Make Sticky View Tool, 
it is pretty quick to create a camera view and the viewport will only focus and follow the object you selected before you use this tool. You may need this as a tracker to a certain part of your character. And G timer, which you can use as a timer and a converter to record and convert timing under different frame rates. Meanwhile, it is also a pretty handy calculator. And BMA converter converts color Maya scenes between MB and MA file formats by force. Super Undo Redo tools helps you undo or redo some operation really quick. It will skip any now undo items in the undo queue, which sometimes really happens to animator. With Relocator tool, you can relocate multiple objects with a single temporary hierarchy. When the relocating is finished, the change will be added to the current keyframes. Insert Hierarchy tool inserts unlimited numbers of hierarchies between current selection and its parent hierarchy for animation tweaking purpose. With Reference tool, you are able to transfer reference information between different Maya scenes. Sometimes it is more straightforward to manage reference via scene selection by using this tool. There are still lots of other features that haven't been covered, yet you can know them by referring the documentation come with MG Tools. Right click on each tool in MG Tools UI, they are access to the corresponding tool menu. Using the online update feature, you will be able to get even more useful features and bug fixes, which keeps your MG Tools latest. So we come to the end of this demo. I'm Miguel, a 3D animator and PT from China. Here's some links if you want to know more about me. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.